Now, if you happen to be upper level, like let's say not only do you do help desk stuff, but you also do some networking stuff. You might be responsible for fixing the network on a whole floor. This is like network engineers. This is like people fixing a whole LAN, a local area network, people who's responsible for a virtual local area network. So they're kind of having to look at server issues as well as switching and networking problems locally, as well as like one-on-one -on -one customer support. So what certifications does an IAT level two and information assurance technical level two need? So that's a CCNA security plus, a CISA plus, a CI. So all of these things, security plus is a big one. These are the ones that they're looking for. Okay, and we're gonna get to the information system security officer in a second here. I'm just building up here so you can kind of understand what's going on. Now, IAT level three. So this is an enclave normally. Now, these guys are not only kind of beyond the one-on-one -on -one type of thing because their skill sets are so versatile that they're needed to do bigger things. They're needed to do more like working with the architecture team, working directly with servers. They're handling stuff that's like local area network to local area network. So these guys have professional level certs. They're very, very in the weeds, but also high enough level to where they have to know, see the bigger picture of what's going on with the network. They're doing enclave to enclave. That's like one lo local area network to another local area network and possibly WANs, which is a wide area network. And that's way more complex.